That new intro was provided by the folks at Content On Demand. They offer personalized branding such as intros and animations, and they work efficiently and ensure satisfaction. If you want to learn more, click on screen now or follow the link in the description. Welcome back everybody, my name is Matt, and I know that most of you are probably media consumers, meaning you watch TV or watch YouTube videos or browse the internet, but some of you are probably also producers, whether it be for YouTube or maybe like a school project or something, and a big part of producing is audio. Now recently I've been getting into the audio game and I've learned a few tricks on how to make your sound quality sound better through a free program, Audacity, just with like two simple steps. So today I'm going to be showing you those steps because it's really a free, easy way to improve your audio. There's no reason not to do it. It's not like it changes your voice that much. It just sounds a little bit better but keeps it realistic. So I think it's a really cool tool to have and uh, so that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video, just the few steps that you take in the program Audacity to improve your sound quality. Alright, so I'm going to teach you how to use the free program Audacity in order to remove the background noise and then equalize your audio, which will make it sound so much better overall. So the first step is just to open up Audacity, and before you start recording, there are a few things you want to make sure are correct, and that is you have the correct microphone selected, I'm using the SL150 from Editor's Keys, I just did a review on it if you want to learn more. And then in the bottom left hand corner, you want to make sure that your project rate matches the recording rate of your microphone. Most microphones record at 44,100 hertz, so if you don't know the recording rate, go ahead and select that. But mine actually records at 48,000 hertz, so that is what I will have selected. Now we are ready to record, but do note that when I click record, I will wait 3-4 to four seconds before I start talking, and that is very important for when we want to remove the background noise. The young boy had no idea of the consequences his actions would cause. He knew going into it that nothing would ever be the same, but he couldn't resist the temptation. So there is the recording and the first block is all background noise basically, which is very important and we'll be using it in the next step. The first step in removing the background noise of your audio is selecting the area in the beginning where you weren't talking. Then go to Effect, Noise Removal, and Get Noise Profile. That's telling Audacity what the background noise looks like. Then you want to select the entire audio clip by double clicking. Back to Effect this time again to noise removal, and then make sure that this slider or this input right here is at 14, so you can just type in 14, and then go to OK. That's going to take the background noise and remove it from the entire clip of audio, so now if I play it from here, the young boy had no idea of the concept in the area when I wasn't talking, it was completely silent, and then it was also removed from the talking parts, even if it's not as noticeable. So now that you are ready to equalize your audio, make sure you're paying attention very carefully, because this is the hardest step. You're going to want to select the entire audio clip, go to Effect, and then Equalization. Now if you're not in full screen in HD already, I recommend you do so now because these points are very small and are hard to see otherwise. You will not have a graph that looks like this, this is the graph you want to have in the end, but I'm going to teach you how to get here. So you want to go to Select Curve and Bass Boost. We're going to modify this graph in order to achieve the one we want. So you want to take this top elbow point and just drag it down to between 3 and 6 decibels. But since we're not only boosting the bass, we are also going to boost the treble. You want to go over to 4000 Hz and just follow this line upwards and create an elbow point at the uh, graph. Then you want to go one notch to the right, create another elbow point, but this time click and drag upwards to between 3 and 6 decibels again. And this way you have both the bass boosted a little bit and the treble boosted a little bit, which will make the human voice sound a lot better. Now you want to go to save and manage curves and you want to save it, you can save it as whatever you want. Uh, I would save it as treble and bass because this way you won't have to remake the graph every time. You can just select it like this and then just click OK and it applies it to your audio clip. Now I'm going to play them side by side from the very beginning, raw audio to this which is edited and you can see the difference for yourself. So I went ahead and uploaded both of these audio clips to Sony Vegas Pro and then deleted the beginning area where it was just background noise so I can play them side by side, the unedited version and then the edited version. But keep in mind that this is my voice. The best results will be if you do it to your own voice in Audacity, create your own audio clip and go through the steps that I showed you because you know your own voice better and you'll be able to better tell the difference. But without further ado, here is the change in my voice. The young boy had no idea of the consequences his actions would cause. He knew going into it that nothing would ever be the same, but he couldn't resist the temptation. The young boy had no idea of the consequences his actions would cause. He knew going into it that nothing would ever be the same, but he couldn't resist the temptation. So that is the difference guys, that was the raw audio compared to the edited audio after that 3 or 4 minute tutorial. The more you do it though, the quicker you'll get at it, so in the end it'll be like a minute process just to make your audio sound better. So there's no reason really not to do it. 
Personally, in that difference, I definitely saw a good positive difference. Uh, in my opinion, at least, my voice sounded a little fuller in the edited version, even a bit deeper, but it was overall a lot nicer to listen to. But I do strongly recommend that you do it with your own voice because you know your own voice better than anybody else's. So if you make that difference, you'll be able to better assess the differences that it made and whether or not you like it. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I do have one more audio video incoming comparing this SL150 microphone to this Blue Yeti microphone, so that should be good. They're kind of similarly priced around $100, so if you're looking to upgrade a mic, definitely wait until that video comes out to better assess your options. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and comment that stuff. I do hope it improved your audio quality. I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching, and as always, my name is Matt, and stay classy.